yes to a new Westell and Shawshin Preschool. I'm Paula Colby Clements and I am the chair of the West Elementary Shushing Preschool Building Committee and I am very excited about this project for the schools and the town of Andover. In 2016, the town did a facility study and these two buildings were rated poor or unsuitable in multiple areas. We immediately put in for a grant at MSBA, who partnered with us at High Plain and Bancroft, and they took us into the grant program on our first admission. So this project creates one solution and solves multiple problems. This will be an academic campus that will host our pre-K programs, our K through five students. It will host our special education programs for our medically fragile children and our bridge and excel programs. We also will have accessible community space, including turf fields on this campus. And finally, it will be a net zero ready building so overall, multiple problems solved and a win for Andover. The time has come for us to build a new school here in Andover to replace two very, very old schools. I urge you to support and vote for the Westell Shashin Preschool Building Project. Hello, my name is Jackson and I'm a current Westell fifth grader. I am really excited to show you my school with Ms. Hunt, our principal. We wanted to share a bit more about the need for the new Westell and Shaw Sheen Preschool. Ms. Hunt, can you speak about the space constraints in our school? Yes, Jackson, what a great question. As you know, we have a very diverse population of students and families, which requires us to have space in our school for offering support to our students, areas for collaboration and instruction with teachers. What is the new design going to include that the current learning spaces don't? Our new West Elementary School is being built as a universal design for learning for all students. And what that means is that every area in the building is created so that learning is at the optimum level for all of our types of learners. What else are you looking forward to in the new West L? This West L was built in 1951. So one of the things I'm really looking forward to is an upgraded entrance that's in front of the building, that's welcoming, gives a sense of belonging, and supports our safety of our staff and students. Hi, my name is Owen, and I am a fifth grader at Bancroft. I'm here with my principal, Ms. Costa, to share all the great things about Bancroft. Ms. Costa, what is the best part of Bancroft? Well, Owen, besides being a state-of-the-art building and, of course, recognizing the importance of taking care of our environment, this building is so full of light and color and it makes children want to run in every day and learn. How has our new school building helped kids learn? I would definitely say that it is a challenge to make a big building like this feel small. And the most amazing thing is that we have these common spaces that bring our whole school together, like our cafeteria and our gymnasium. But we also have these small little nooks and crannies like breakout rooms and the treehouse that help our children come together in small groups or just with a teacher so they can spend time with them. As the parent of a child that went through the Shashin Preschool program, I can attest to the fact that it is an amazing preschool and a wonderful introduction for families into the Andover public school system. What Shashin lacks in building resources is more than made up for in teacher resources. I'm so excited to know that we're investing in a building that will support all students and meet them individually where their needs are, whether it's in breakout rooms, sensory rooms, or accessible spaces. The new Westell Shawshin Preschool building will support our youngest learners. Shawshin Preschool is the oldest school building in the Andover campus. This is a critical time in many children's lives, and having appropriate resources to support them as learners is so important. Our Andover community needs to come together to support our kids and teachers and provide a welcoming environment for the future. I hope you'll join me and others in voting yes to the West El Shawshin Preschool Building Project. A yes vote means a yes to excellence. We are a community of excellence. We have excellent students, excellent educators, and excellent parents. We deserve the best. Vote yes. A yes vote means yes to a greener community. West Net Zero Design has the potential to produce all needed energy on site. It will also be Andover's second LEED certified green school, further demonstrating our commitment to addressing climate change. 
A yes vote means yes to health, safety, and security. Unfortunately, the current state of West L and Shawshank Preschool does not meet the educational needs of today or the future. We look forward to a building environment that ensures health, safety, and security for both children, teachers, and faculty. A yes vote means yes to thoughtful planning. Andover was accepted into the MSBA in 2016 for financial assistance with a new school. We are securing a vibrant future for our children and residents alike. A yes vote means yes to sound investing. By saying yes now to a new West Elementary and Shawshank Preschool, we secure $38 million of state funding, money which will not be available later if voters reject this project. We also avoid the escalating costs needed to maintain two old schools which are inefficient and do not meet current building codes. We take advantage of current low interest rates, attract new business, and positively impact property values. A yes vote means yes to opportunity. The time is now. This is not a problem that will fix itself and go away. We have to address the issues the schools face in the most fiscally responsible way we can for Andover. A yes vote means yes to serving the community. The new school will include many benefits to our entire community outside of regular school hours. It will include turf fields and will expand the after hours play for many youth sports and community groups. A yes vote is a yes for equity and inclusion. It'll bring both West Elementary and Shawshank Preschool up to MSBA standards. It'll solve the overcrowding issue at West, Sanborn, and High Plain. And it'll provide an appropriate and inclusive learning environment for kids in our most intensive special education programs from preschool, age three, all the way through fifth grade, up to age 11. So we could have these kids in this one school for maybe nine years of their early education which as a parent of a kid with special needs, I understand the importance of that. So come out to town meeting on June 5th and vote yes to the West Elementary and Shawshank Preschool Project. Then come back on June 15th to your local voting precinct and vote yes to the debt exclusion. I'm so passionate about this project, I'd come out and vote a third time, but we're only asking you to vote twice. Let's do this, Andover.